Measuring angles in standard position. Question 4. Determine all possible principal angles for a related acute angle of 30 degrees. This is a very interesting and important problem. I would like you to do it yourself. Stop the video at this moment and then look into my solution, okay? Because I find many times some angles are missed by the student. They get some, of course. So here are my solutions, right? We are saying all possible. So the key word here is all possible, okay? Principal angles for related acute angle of 30 degrees. Can you tell me how many possible principal angles will be? Think about it and then sketch them, okay? So let's sketch them. First, let me sketch some of these. So I'll just making four of these since I know the answer, right? You may have to think and sketch and find all possible. Now, acute angle of 30 degrees, that means here we have an acute angle of 30 degrees, right? Now, acute angle of 30 degrees, we can have it here also, acute angle of 30 degrees, right? Or we could have it here also, acute angle of 30 degrees. And that is also possible, acute angle of 30 degrees. So basically, we have four combinations for acute angle of 30 degrees. Well, in some books, it is written that acute angle is angle of terminal arm with the horizontal axis in quadrant 2, 3, and 4. So they have not included quadrant 1 in it. Well, that creates an ambiguity, okay? Relative acute angle is acute angle in all four quadrants. And sometimes we call that acute reference as a reference angle. The, the related acute angle in quadrant 1 is sometimes referred to as reference acute angle, okay? The other books use reference acute angle and related acute angle as the same angles. Anyway, for this discussion, related acute angle is the acute angle between the terminal arm and the horizontal axis, no matter in which <coughs> quadrant it is, okay? So that is how I am taking it. So, so you can check this with your teacher. So these are my related acute angles, okay? And re related acute angles are always positive and between 0 and 90 degrees, correct? Now, to find out the principal angle, what we need to do? We have to go from the initial arm, which is along the x-axis. So this is always initial arm in the standard position, along the x-axis. Well, this is a new topic and these are first few questions for us on this topic. And I, my repetition of standard position and making you understand that in standard position we always start from the vertex. Initial arm is along the positive x-axis and terminal arm can be in any quadrant, okay? So here the principal angle is this. That means 180 plus 30. How about this place? 180 minus 30. How about this? Same as related acute angle. And how about this? This is 360 minus 30 degrees. So let's do them one by one, right? So we have acute angle alpha of 30 degrees and our principal angle, so this is our principal angle, theta, which is also 30 degrees in this case. And in this case, Acute angle is 30 degrees, but principal angle theta is equals to 180 minus 30, correct? Which is 150 degrees. Don't forget the sign for degrees, okay? I forget it many times. Alpha is 30 degrees, not a good thing. So it is 180 plus 30 degrees, which is 210 degrees, right? And here, alpha is 30 degrees. I'm using alpha for acute angle and theta is 360 minus 30 degrees, okay, which is 330 degrees. So these are the possible principal angles for the given related acute angle, okay. Thank you.